Each minute in 2021, we conducted 57 lakh searches on Google. Users shared over 3 lakh photos on Facebook and Instagram combined. Users streamed over 11 lakh hours of video across YouTube and Netflix. And over 60 lakh people have made purchases online. Yes, all this in a short one minute, every minute in 2021. If Samuel Taylor Coleridge were alive today, he may have written a poem on data data everywhere. All of us are consuming and generating data in unprecedented quantities. Welcome to the short video on data analytics. Hi, I'm Ipshita Sinha, faculty and policy analyst with Vadwani Institute of Technology and Policy. In this short video, we will explain what is data analytics share use cases and examples of data analytics understand what data analytics can and cannot do currently nobel laureate daniel kahneman showcased in his 2011 book thinking fast and slow that humans are often overwhelmed with data we use heuristics that is mental shortcuts or thumb rules to make decisions these mental shortcuts are often fine but many a times we fail to understand the nuances of all the data and this leads us to form wrong conclusions and make us take inappropriate decisions in such situations data analytics comes to our rescue data analytics is the science and art of analyzing raw data converting it into information to solve a problem We may also think of data analytics as a process of converting volumes of data into useful value through statistical methods enabling us to make better decisions. We may use data analytics to help us analyze the demographic data and current infrastructure to suggest the best resource allocation like the opening of new schools or health centers. The use of data makes the decisions more accurate and takes into account the current realities removing personal bias and preference thereby improving the decision making process. While data analytics has multiple areas of use for this short video we will bucket the applications into three key heads reporting prediction and classification. Let's begin with the first application data reporting. Data reporting is the process of collecting and formatting raw data and translating it into an easy to understand format to assess the ongoing performance of your organization. The government of India and all the state governments have done a great job in data reports. We have some wonderful dashboards from various central and state government departments. We illustrate some brilliant dashboards many government departments have worked on. The Ministry of Commerce and Industry has a dashboard on the merchandise trade, imports and exports with nations across the globe. The Ministry of Tribal Affairs has a wonderful dashboard that showcases scholarships including the National Fellowship Scheme, National Overseas Scholarships, Post Metric Scholarship and other details. These reports help us easily visualize trends across years of the scholarship amount. The Swasthya Tribal Health and Nutrition Portal dashboard has details on health centers, healthcare workers, population, patient case loads and the like. All these details may be utilized to help policymakers prioritize on best locations to build new health centers and ensure adequate healthcare infrastructure for all citizens. Dashboards help with data driven decision making and may be used by policy makers to get insights on current infrastructure such as tap water, roads, electricity connections and demographic details like population density, age and gender distribution to visualize the gap in tap water, roads etc and decide the suitable areas for the focus of infrastructure spends. Reporting also helps showcase divergence in trends and highlights outliers. 
For example, if we see growth in the number of children in a village but a drop in school enrollment, that should trigger an alert that action is needed. Now let's talk about data prediction. Prediction models predict values for the future and help with forecasting. Data analytics offers many methods of predictions that provide better accuracy than human guesswork or gut feel. These data-driven approaches help with better decision-making. Analytics enable governments to target likely problems before they erupt into crisis. Recent advancements in this area have made it possible for government to predict and anticipate problems rather than react to them. From spotting fraud to combating an epidemic, an ounce of prevention really is worth a pound of cure, especially in government. Predictive analytics is now being applied in a wide range of areas including defense, security, healthcare and citizen services among others. A few examples of predictions may be what the budget a particular department may need in the next period. Given the trend how many kilometers of road will be built by a particular time or what the power generation and demand will be across time and when power cuts or load shedding may be needed. It can help to predict the quantity of food grains needed in the public distribution system and ensure the required stock is requisitioned. IIT Delhi and many institutes use prediction models to estimate how many Indians will be infected with COVID-19. And finally, let's take a look at data classification model, which help assign categories to data. The categories may be two or more as per the requirements. As an example, in the retail sector, how many t-shirts will be sold today is a prediction problem where we estimate the number of shirts likely to be sold. Will this blue shirt get sold today is a classification problem with the answer of yes, it will be sold or no, it will not be sold. In the government context, the classification model can help assign users into two classes such as 1. Income tax payers, which are exhibiting behavior that showcases the potential for fraud and therefore an income tax audit should be done. 2. Income tax payers who are genuine and pay taxes due and should not be audited. In the case of education, the model may suggest students likely to drop out and get the teachers to focus more on these to ensure they stay in school. The government is always constrained with time and resources. Good classification models will help to manage the meager resources better. Now let us come to the limitations of data analytics. Data analytics needs good quality data which is sometimes difficult to collect due to multiple reasons, due to the cost, time and effort required to get good quality data. Analysis or prediction will be as good as the data is. Data analytics use past data trends to predict. In case some new major events happen, the models may not remain accurate. Financial transaction and consumer spending behavior after COVID-19 are examples of unforeseen events that can make forecasts less accurate. Also, Data analytics uses statistical approaches and is focused on the explainability of results rather than only on accuracy. These are typically 80% to 90% accurate. Another method known as machine learning focuses on higher accuracy. Please do watch our video on machine learning and AI. Other technologies to handle such data. Please do watch our videos on computer vision and natural language processing to learn more in the link below. Computer vision can be used for unstructured image and video data. Natural language processing may be used for text data. Finally, data analytics also does not work well with unstructured data like text, audio and images. After this short video, we hope you will be able to explain what is data analytics, share use cases and examples of data analytics in India, 
understand what data analytics can and cannot do currently. If you have enjoyed watching this video, then don't forget to tune in to more such videos from us on emerging technologies. Until then, see you next time.